For me, the best bet of the weekend is Barra. I'm going to Wexford to see it for the reason that it was second to Let's Dance in the Novice Mayor's yeah. Hurdle at Cheltenham. I was there, and I, I, I think, you know, Gordon ran it every other week, but she runs well fresh. She has a stone in hand. I'd be very disappointed. She'd probably win at four to five. Give us your best bet of the weekend, Brendan. Um, well, like Ellie, I'm looking at a, an English race, in, a listed race in England, and uh, a horse with JR Lines called Moonlight Bay, who uh, won a, the bird catcher beating Guess the Bill. And I thought, I don't know about you, but that kill of Ullen, that Guess the Bill was fourth in on Sunday. That was a right good race. Right. And this is this is a Phillies listed race. I think that strong form, that bird catcher form, and she'd be about five or six to one. Where's she going? In the 3.55 Newbury. 3.55 in Newbury on Saturday. Yeah, I think she'll be on Friday. Uh, and it, what, what type of race is it? Is it a, a, a nursery two or is it a listed? Or a, a listed race. Right, yeah. okay. Uh, who rides? I don't actually know All who right. rides. Okay, but, right. Yeah. Okay, well, doesn't need a jockey according to Brendan. It's already past the post. Give us one best bet for the weekend. Um, well, my best bet, uh, which I think is the most certain bet, is verbal dexterity. But I do like uh, Musha Keb in Doncaster in the listed race uh, on the supporting card for the race post trophy. Only had one run previously, but impressive on debut despite being really, really green. I think he'll improve. Okay. Well, good luck to you all. I hope you have a successful punting weekend. That's it from Ladbrokes and the Racing Post. We'll talk to you again next week.